They had their own road manager, personal manager, a publicist, and it became like a bunker, their floor at the Southern Cross or wherever they were. And my job was to help keep people out, not be inside partying or everyone associated with the tour you were looking at that was like desperate to try and make contact personally with them. But my job was, was the reverse. My job was to protect them and to see that only the people that were supposed to get in to see them got in and the others out. And also my other prime responsibility was stage manager at the concert venues, which was a pretty simple operation, getting them in and uh, looking after them before they went on. And as soon as they finished their set, we always used to have a trick to get them out where we would play God Save the Queen in those days. <laughs> so everyone would stand up <laughs> for God Save the Queen, stop there screaming for the second. While that's going on, the Beatles are out the door in the car and away. And by the time God Save the Queen is over, they've left the building. And the screaming starts, and they would mill around the stage door, thousands of them, and wouldn't believe us, of course, but they'd gone. John Lennon backstage approached me one day and said, you stand there and you're very quiet and you, you watch a lot. You sort of watch over us, don't you? I said, yeah, that's my job. And he said, yeah, it feels good. <laughs> 